Hello, my name is Braden No, and I am the corresponding author of the research Supercapacitor-Assisted Hybrid Electric Vehicle Powertrain and Power Selection Using Fuzzy Rule-Based Algorithm. Electric vehicles has been on the rise in popularity due to growing emissions from patrol road transport. With this rise, we have also seen an increased push of heavier electric vehicles in the commercial industry such as efforts from Tesla with their Cybertrucks and GMC's new Hummer EV. However, the uptake of heavier electric vehicles has its own problem. As load weights are greater, heavy electric vehicles such as trucks and trams have greater power demands for the power source, which is mainly the battery pack. Batteries have relatively low energy density, making them vulnerable to transient power cost by large loads. The common solution to battery power deprivation is to oversize the battery pack, which is used by Tesla vehicles. However, heavy electric vehicles require greater demand, which increases the battery weight and cost penalty. Even worse, such heavy vehicles are used for transporting mass people and goods, which means the power demand will fluctuate greatly, making it even more difficult to appropriately size the battery pack. An example of the power profile was borrowed from a 2009 research of an European urban electric tram. During acceleration and regenerative braking, power peaks are present due to transient power. Such phases may cause long-term long damage to battery packs. Supercapacitor hybrid powertrains has been used to reduce battery pack sizes in past literature. As supercapacitors have higher power density, using them during vehicle acceleration and regenerative braking, phases where transient power occur benefits the battery by reducing stress. But as supercapacitors have low energy density, it is important to minimize the discharge time of the supercapacitor or energy from regenerative braking will not be sufficient to balance the state of charge. With this slide, a more comprehensive configuration of the powertrain, which can be largely divided into energy storage, control, and load can be seen. In this research, the objective was to develop a control algorithm that works in real time with weight-varying electric vehicle to optimally select the supercapacitor phase during high power demand. The driving stages can be summed up with power variable-based equations. The vehicle cycle is divided into acceleration state, coasting state, and regenerative braking state. For the control strategy to function, all power stores required for the driving phases can be seen in sum of power equation. During acceleration, transient power occurs, so the supercapacitor handles the acceleration. During coasting state, power peaks are minimal, so the battery handles this stage. During regenerative braking, transient power also occurs, so the supercapacitor handles all the energy from the vehicle. An electric vehicle model designed with Simulink was tested to perform to contrast the vehicle profile with and without additional loads. From two graphs, it is seen that the vehicle with load has higher peak current and a more gradual current reduction. This reflects the amount of time needed to reach the desired speed, as the vehicle without load took 1.4 seconds, while vehicle with load took 5.7 seconds. The purpose of the fuzzy logic algorithm was to predict the average current rating, so when the vehicle demands power higher than the predicted value, the supercapacitor would power the vehicle. Using the information from MATLAB simulation, fuzzy membership functions were created. Three general rules were followed, which were Number one, heavier vehicles consist of higher peak current. Number two, faster acceleration results in higher peak current. Number three, faster acceleration results in higher current slope. The reason why average current prediction cannot be determined from peak current itself is due to the acceleration profile. In comparison, a lighter vehicle with faster acceleration can achieve the same peak current as the heavy vehicle with lower acceleration. By looking at the current slope, which looks at the difference in the current value over a certain period of time, the fuzzy logic value will be closer to the actual um, average vehicle current rating. The major goal of the realized vehicle testing was to develop an applied vehicle system that would emulate the computational simulation and perform the fuzzy algorithm with more ease. A fifth-scale remote-controlled vehicle was used as the test vehicle. Although power demand values are drastically lower than those of actual electric vehicles, trend with current peaks and current slopes are similarly emulated, making scaled vehicles testing useful for deeper analysis of the proposed fuzzy logic controller. Vehicles were tested without load and an additional 10 kg of load to see the effect of fuzzy logic controller. The drive cycle resulting current rating can be seen in the bottom graph. Each acceleration states were divided into 10 second time sections and profiles were analyzed with voltage and current graphs seen on the right side. With the voltage graph, it is seen that the supercapacitor requires more power for heavier vehicles during acceleration. With the current graph, the fuzzy logic output can be seen. Based on the peak current and the power slope calculated in 200 milliseconds, the fuzzy logic results in each unique values for each acceleration. As seen, vehicles with load resulted in greater fuzzy output as, as average currents were higher. 
the use of current slope can be seen with the contrast of graph A and D. Although those two graphs had similar current peak values, graph A had higher current slope resulting in lower fuzzy output, and this gave a more accurate prediction value. Using the proposed fuzzy logic controller, battery stress was reduced as the peak power stages were handled by the supercapacitor. Results confirmed an effective acceleration strategy which could optimally balance the supercapacitor's state of charge. The algorithm allows for electric vehicles with varying loads, such as electric trucks and electric trams, to benefit from supercapacitor hybrid powertrain without requiring pre-entered variables for power control adjustments. Further research and larger prototyping should be done to perform for usability in commercial electric vehicles. For this research, I thank Dr. Zhang of Clemson University Department of Automobile Engineering for his guidance and his supervision during my research. Thank you for watching this presentation.